and welcome. Today we're going to be testing the first robot vacuum cleaner we've featured on our channel. That is the Dyson 360i Eurist. We were kindly sent this by Dyson to do a full honest review on, but as always the review will be fully impartial and we'll give you our full results. We'll be testing its navigation out, its edge cleaning, carpet cleaning, hard floor cleaning, and most importantly, can it clean a room without stopping and recharging? We'll be getting back to you with the results to see if finally you can stop vacuuming. So let's get testing. To start, this robot vacuum is 800 pounds. That is a lot of money for a vacuum, but it claims to have twice as much suction of any other robot vacuum cleaner. It's also got a lot of other features that separate it from the rest. Dyson engineers really thought outside the box when they made this machine. It doesn't have typical wheels, it has tank tracks, so it can climb small edges, which means it will continue to clean throughout your home, no matter what floor or carpet surface have. Unlike most other vacuum that are robotic, it allows you to clean in dark and low light conditions. So if you schedule it to clean when you're not in or when it's at night, it will clean without bumping into obstacles and getting jammed. It also has 10 gigs of RAM and a quad core processor, which might sound like specs you'd hear from a 2020 flagship phone not a vacuum. Speaking of 2020 flagship phone, the app lets you track where you've cleaned and vary the suction power to max, to standard and eco, which allows you to choose the different powers for each rooms and where and when you want these rooms cleaning and also schedule a time to clean. So when you come back from work, everything is finished and squeaky clean. These features are all well and good, but what we really need to know is how does this machine perform at its main function, a vacuum. It performs well, but it is still a distance from the best cordless and plug-in vacuums on the market. It did get all the dirt up, no problem, but so would a Dyson V6, and for about 600 pound less. This is the problem with robot vacuums in 2020. They are far more expensive than the only difference being you don't have to use them like a normal vacuum cleaner. Anyway, we talk about this more at the end of the video. Now let's move on to the medium pal carpet test. It gathered up 90% of the mess. Again, this is comparable to the lower end Dyson uprights and cordless machines. We surrounded this test with a makeshift wall forcing to make sure it stayed in the rectangle and got up all the dirt and mess to simulate a dirty room. Next, we moved on to the edge cleaning test. Here, the machine did get up some of the dirt, but not the dirt that was right up against the edge. Other cordless vacuum cleaner made by the Dyson company that was just 200 pounds got up within seconds. It meant that this machine would be good as a main supplement to clean floors. However, you would not be able to replace a mains or good cordless machine with this machine. In conclusion, this robot is one of the best robots. It does have the power and the battery life going for it, as well as so many useful features in the app, as well as state-of-the-art processor and cleaning algorithm. We also like the tank tracks, but it is just other than that a robot that will not replace an upright in 2020 yet. The bin is just 0.33 litres, enough for one or two messy rooms to maximum, which isn't as effective as an upright today. And for £800, you could buy four Dyson V6s, which will clean up just as well. The only difference being you have to do the cleaning. What we are getting at here is the robot won't replace the uprights. Not that this is a bad robot at all. It is a great robot. But if you're looking to replace a current day machine, you won't. You won't. But if you set on a robot, this is definitely the best one on the market. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you'd like this machine, you can click on the link below to purchase one for yourself.